Mr. Iserwood, uh, ladies and gentlemen, I'm really honored to be here today because part of uh, the mission of a Bulgarian ambassador to the United Kingdom, once Bulgaria is inside the European Union and of course once uh, Bulgaria has to be really solidly represented on the educational and cultural highly competitive field in London is to show the support of the Bulgarian state for those scholars and those uh, scholars and friends of Bulgaria, be they from Bulgaria on the one hand, be they coming uh, from other countries but take an interest in uh, our culture, our civilizational contribution and indeed our language so that we could really live up to the reputation of a country whose uh, language and especially whose alphabet is the third official alphabet inside the European Union in after the uh, 1st of January 2007. It is an alphabet that is the uh, written reflection of a long-standing uh, tradition going even beyond the time the alphabet itself was established uh, centuries ago. Uh, tradition should be combined with uh, innovation and I take uh, lead from what our generous host today said in the sense that as much as we should uh, try to further develop, solidify the cultural imprint of Bulgaria, the, the educational imprint of Bulgarian scholars uh, in uh, the uh, corridors and classrooms of this uh, prestigious institution, the School of Slavonic Studies, we also have to try to attract other ways uh, for Bulgarian scholars to participate in projects developed at the university, other forms of academic exchange on top of this tradition which we as an em embassy and state will continue to support because the 21st century with its uh, positive but also negative aspects of globalization uh, challenges us with the threat of having a, a reduced interest in studies concentrated in one country or one specific area of the lore of a country. So the combination of the promotion of Bulgaria as an intellectual and civilizational brand should come hand in hand with regional approaches, with a cluster of disciplines that could be an avenue for the performance, for the promotion of the knowledge and expertise and personalities from Bulgaria or people associated with the Bulgarian language and culture. So this is what I wanted to say uh, uh, in conclusion of the first part of my statement, at the same time uh, distinguishing the contribution of Professor Kovacev to the promotion of the good name of the intellectual elite of my country, and I'm happy that there are other scholars from Bulgaria or associated with Bulgaria attending this important symposium today. Of course, the concrete topic seems to me equally important. I have the honor to attend uh, on the very first days after my arrival a special event at the Bulgarian Cultural Institute at the Embassy uh, in South Kensington, devoted on the biography of Mr. Peter Waliev Pierre Roof. And today, we continue marking the important life work in the achievements of Mr. Uwali. For those who haven't had the chance to take uh, to, to, to know something more about his lifetime and experience today, I dare in a resume to remind you who is he and what is his role to the development of Bulgarian-British uh, relations and indeed the intellectual approximation of, of, of the two peoples. The uh, Mr. P Uvaliev came to London in 1947 and he worked here until the year 1998, actually to the end of his life. He contributed uh, in a variety of fashions. He was a versatile talent, a diplomat, he worked for the BBC World Service, he was a film producer, a director, a scriptwriter, a literary film scholar, translator, university lecturer, and whatnot. At the same time, no one should remember, uh, forget especially his famous broadcast in which he commented on the cultural and social issues be they in the United Kingdom, be they outside of it. He always, however, had an individual voice, and that made him stand out, uh, that, that made him stand out among other Bulgarians in the same field, with his voice 
of intellectual perception at the same time, tolerance, and therefore he will be one of the extraordinary talents and the highly influential men that he continues to be with the memory of him still living and his contemporaries, of course, through the books and the works maybe some of the people here today will produce to sort of perpetuate the legacy he has left behind. So thank you very much, sir, for the invitation. Thank you for attending this seminar today. And I wish you every success in your father.